Umrah step by step. First, wear the two pieces of cloth for men and women wear normal clothes. Second, make the intention of performing Umrah before Miqat. By doing this, you will come in the state of Ihram. Third, entering Masjid al Haram. Whilst reciting, Allahumma aftahli abwaab rahmataka. Fourth, there will be seven rounds of the Kaaba. Start the Tawaf from Hajar al Aswad, black stone. We point our hand towards it and say, Bismillah Allahu Akbar. If you can't see the black stone, then you can look for a green light in one of the corners. It has been put there to specify the direction of the black stone. Fifth, in Tawaf, in the last corner of Tawaf, you recite Rabbana atini fi dunya hasana wa fil akhira hasana wa qina azab nar Sixth, first three rounds are completed by walking fast, men only. It is called Ramal. Then the remaining four rounds are completed by walking on a normal pace. Seventh, after completing the seven rounds of Tawaf, you go behind the station of Ibrahim السلام, and pray two ruk'at. Recite Surah Al Kafirun in the first ruk'ah and Surah Al Ikhlas in the second. After, go to the Zamzam taps and drink Zamzam water. That's the end of Tawaf. At the end of the seventh circuit, do not point towards Hajar al Aswad or point towards it the eighth time as it's the end of Tawaf. Now that the waf is finished, you cover both shoulders with the upper portion of the ihram sheet, men only. Eighth, go to Safa and Marwa to perform the site. We walk from Safa to Marwa four times and three times from Marwa to Safa. Starting at Mount Safa, move up the hilltop, face the Kaaba. Raise your hands for dua and recite the following ayah, followed by any supplication. وَمَن تَطَوَّعَ خَيْرًا فَإِنَّ اللَّهَ شَاكِرٌ عَلِيمٌ Then say Allahu Akbar three times or ask Allah for whatever you wish. Now come down from Safa and move towards Marwa whilst reciting this supplication. Subhanallah, Walhamdulillah, Wala ilaha illallah. Wallahu Akbar, Wala Hawla, Wala Quwata illa billah. If you don't remember this supplication, also recite Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Allahu Akbar repeatedly and keep moving. You may also praise Allah and ask for His mercy in your own language or use supplications taken from the daily salah. When you reach two green pillars, between which men have to run, but the women walk with their normal pace. Note, in all trips, the men will run between the green pillars, but the women will walk in a normal pace. When on top of Marwa, praise Allah, facing the Kaaba, and repeat the same supplications that were recited at Safa. One trip is over now. The second trip will be from Marwa to Safa. You continue to do this until you've made seven trips and you finally end up at Marwa. At the end of the seventh walk, stand facing the Kaaba and make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the acceptance of your Umrah. Finally, the last step of your journey. Shaving or clipping the hair. After Sa'i', the walking between the Safa and Marwa, men should get their heads completely shaved. <laughs>
or get their hair clipped to the length of the upper third of their finger or a little more. Both shaving and clipping are permissible for men, though shaving is preferable. Women are however allowed to have a lock of their hair clipped, they are forbidden to shave their heads. After cutting the hair, Umrah is complete. The restrictions of Ihram are finished. Now wear your everyday clothes and lead a normal life. Be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that He provided the opportunity for performing Umrah and lead the rest of your life according to the commands of your Creator.